Hey everybody, Eric Poncho here, and we are back playing Metroid Fusion. And now we need to find a way out of Sector 2, because right now we basically are stuck down in the bottom of it in a bunch of unexplored, unmapped rooms, and I really would like to not be here. And oh, and unlike uh, Metroid Prime, which, uh, if you haven't watched my LP Metroid Prime yet, go check that out, because I did that one a long time ago, and it'll explain some basic things about Samus and Metroids and stuff that you may or may not know. Oh, we can't do anything in here yet, I, I know what that room's for. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't checked out that LP, you might as well go and uh, take a look at it. I did it a while back though, so you have to excuse the fact that I was an idiot. Does anybody else feel like that? Like, I seriously like look back at like LPs I recorded like two months ago, and I'm like, man, that was some dumb commentary, dude. What were you talking about? Like, you idiot. I don't really want to go down there. I don't know if this is the right way or not. I guess I'll have to go look. Oh, Piranha! Piranha! At least they aren't in 3D, right? Alright, I obviously can't do anything in here. There's no way I can climb that wall over there. And I can climb this one really slowly since I'm underwater. Great, let's go get out of here. Can't reach the ceiling in there either. I know I saw that stuff on the wall. Boom! Gotcha. Oh, get it, get it, get it! Oh, I just barely couldn't grab it. And I think the way we want to go is... Well, what's up here? What's in this room? We can at least check. Oh, I get the feeling there's something I can do in here yet. Actually, can I blow this up? Nope. Okay, well, let's leave. And just roll out. Roll out! This is the only way to go now, huh? Oh yeah, watch out for these guys. Again, they shoot you when you sh when you hit them, so... If you're standing too close like that, you might get nailed. Take that. And that. I'm <laughs> just, like, restocking on energy. That's probably why they put these guys here, actually. It's just a really easy energy restock. I'm at full health again. Nice. And we were worried about dying in Sector 2. Don't be silly. Another save room here. We can pass right through it. And we got some zoomers in here. I'm pretty sure that there's a power up in here, but I don't think we can get it yet. I'm not sure what item we need to get it though. And there's an energy tank. I first when I first saw that room, I thought it was a trap or something, because it seemed too easy to get the energy tank. But no, that's just straightforward. They're handing over a power up real easy for you. I guess it's only sector two. They're not treating us too bad yet. Now we have a full 399 energy. That's nice. That'll help us get through some of the bosses in this uh, section. I'm not sure if we want to go up here. I don't know if we can get into that. We can't get into that area. So the only way to go is down. We have to blow out the floor with our beam. Take out that. We can pop in here. Now this is where I believe this is the room where we start seeing the little blue zoomer things. Or the big blue crawly things. They'll take a full two charge shots, or three I think actually. Anyway, the point is they take a ridiculous amount of hits before they die. And they start moving faster so they come over and hit you. Thankfully, they drop a red, uh, X, so that you get a lot more health generation from them. What do you mean I can't destroy this? Must be a one-way thing. That means we're probably gonna have to get in there through some other way. That's tricky. How do we get in there? I'm gonna carefully inspect this. Bomb everywhere. Actually, a pretty good strategy since you can bomb f up to four places at once. Let's try bombing this wall. I'm getting a hunch. No? Nothing there, huh? Whoa, I knocked me out to the side. That was interesting. Nothing there. That's weird. How do we get in there? Well, I have to say I'm confused. There's something on the ceiling here, maybe? I don't know, maybe putting those guys up there is... Well, they drop missile things. Huh, I honestly don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. Come here, you. I don't know if that's where we're supposed to go or not. Maybe not. That's kind of weird. I feel like this has to be it, though. What am I missing here? Oh, great. I respawned the enemies. Nice. Way to go, Poncho. Get out of here! Do ridiculous amount of health. Ridiculous. Alright, has to be something here. What am I missing, man? Oh come on! Don't tell me I like figured this out last time and now I can't remember what I was supposed to do. Okay, well bombing all this crap obviously isn't it. How do we get over there? Wait. I know. I remember now. I got it. We're good. My bad. Brain fart. It is a one-way thing. We need to drop down from above. That's what it is. I knew there was something tricky going on there. If I remember this correctly, there should be something on the floor in here, I think. There it is. And, ah, look where we are! Hey, shut it. Whoop! Gotta have some good reflexes to get over that in time. I like to wait until, like, the last possible moment. 
Ah, no, it's just more fun. I'll take out the door, take another red X, that's nice. And uh oh. This room's quiet. Too quiet. Ah, we got an X parasite, or a big X. Let's do this. Whoa. What do you call that thing? Ugh. Anyway, he's jumping around a lot. Jump around! Occasionally he'll stop above us, we can shoot him in the eyeball. Uh, it's kind of risky though, you don't want to hover around underneath him on the off chance that he'll stop. But when he is underneath him, you want to shoot him in the eye as much as you can. You can pop off a couple missiles into him, you can usually get two or three if your timing's good. You can kind of tell when he's going to stay up there because he'll hover for a second. Yeah, you see? Oh, just, oh, I was about to say, just don't get stuck inside. If you do immediately tap B, you'll drop bombs as a morph ball. Can't hurt him anywhere else, of course. I'm not sure if shooting him from underneath while he's just jumping around like that is going to do anything either. Get out of here. You see, now he's just that one segment left. He's starting to get weakened. He'll start uh, opening his mouth a lot more often when he's just got one segment left. I'm not sure why. It's kind of a bad strategy. Of course, it is a, a way for him to do a lot more damage to you if he manages to eat you. But at this point, you kind of just can wait around underneath him because you pretty much can be sure that he's going to do it. Oh, that got him. And now we got to take out one of these X things. These balls. I hate these balls, man. I ser I'm serious. These things killed me more than the bosses the first time I played this game. I hated them so much. Get away from me. Get away! Get away! There's just no way to avoid them, though, dude. Ridiculous. Get out of here. And we get a new power-up. What is it? High jump and jump ball abilities. So now we have the ability to jump as a morph ball, and our general jumping ability in game has been greatly increased, so much that we actually have to move the screen up and down when we jump. How cool is that? Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. And now we head back out this hallway, I believe. Or can we even get this to go? I guess not. We can always just go back up through here, though, can't we? Whoop. Pull that room out. This is the room where the energy tank was, if you remember correctly. Now that we have our high jump ability, there's some new places that we can access around here. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Save. Wah. Yep. Save complete. Awesome. Let's keep moving. So we got another boss, got another power up, and now you can see all the uh, green, all the red things have like become like pod things. Dude, would you just? There, grab that. Power bomb. Okay, apparently we don't go that way. <laughs> Guess not. Okay. Oh yeah. Again, these guys shoot you from the side, so watch out. Dang, I got hit by, I got hit by that guy like three times. Oh, can't do anything here. Can't go through that door. I definitely sense a weak spot on the floor here. Let's see what we can do. Ah. Shh! It's the SAX. Be very quiet. I'm gonna grab it. Huh, tricky. And then he leaves. Or it leaves. Huh. I suppose it's safe to follow, huh? He's not coming back. Let's see if I can get out of here. There we go, we blow the floor. Let's do it. It's a close call. Actually, you don't really get much suspense there because you feel like you're kind of safe from it. Actually, I think we want to keep going up. And you see, it's just ridiculous how high Samus jumps now. This is like a newfound, like, amazingness. You just basically jumped at like any ridiculous height you want. On oh, the jump ball ability is great too. It jumps almost as high as Samus's original jump did. It makes it really easy for us to get places. Get out of here. There's no way that guy was gonna be able to catch me. Whoa! Dang it! That's why you want to use missiles. They do more damage and it only takes takes fewer shots, and the heat fires less bullets back at you. You know we can roll out of here now. And we're back into mapped rooms. Thank goodness. It's about time for us to head out of sector two and go on to the next part of the game. Or the next sector, I guess. Which I've already spoiled, it's gonna be sector, f sector 4. Which I gotta say, I'm not really looking forward to. Is this where I want to go? It certainly isn't. Can't do anything with that just yet. Well, we, if you haven't guessed it yet, we're gonna be coming back to pretty much every sector again. Uh, that's why we're running paths so much. Anyway, let's go ahead and recharge. Charging my lasers. We can get in here, and we can save in a second. I'm gonna talk to Adam first. What's up, man? How's it going? What you been up to? Samus, we've got trouble. Yeah, like we didn't already know that. Releasing the security lock may have been a bad idea. But that could let us get the bombs. 
The SAX has invaded the water environment in Sector 4, Aqua, with several thousand. Several thousand? Dang. With the blue hatches active, the SAX slipped in easily. The creatures and systems in Sector 4 are already showing multiple irregularities. I'm currently investigating. I'll brief you in the navigation room when you arrive. I didn't know computers could burp. Now I have a Sector 4. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to drop back in here and save, because I'm done recording for now. So I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Metroid Fusion when we head for Sector 4, the Water Sector. See you then.